Hello people of the internet, this is Toby from Team Mixed by Mark Mozart and what you can see here is Ableton 10. It is not just Ableton 10 but the Mixed by Mark Mozart template, the Mixed Sample Pro template for Ableton 10 and uh, you can see plenty of um, buses for each and individual for each individual um, instrument group from from drums up to orchestra you see plenty of effects you see a uh, highly um, developed if you will um, return section and all of this is nothing nothing at all that we're going to talk about because this is a three-step tutorial if you will and I want to start out right here, not here, but here. Yeah, this is where I want to start out. And uh, I want to talk about effects and how to use them in Ableton, because there is a, on the one hand, there's a intuitive way. And on the other hand, there is a not intuitive way, but a better way. And Usually I don't want to judge things like they are better or worse, but in that case, um, please stay tuned um, and judge for yourself. So, in the beginning, like everybody wants started out, right? So in the beginning, you let's just pick as an example, let's pick a audio sample. Why not strings phased, right? It's a tiny, tiny sample. Let's have a listen. Let me loop it, Command L. And let's have a listen. Lovely. Not bad, right? Just for the sake of the example. We will work with that. Right. Cool. So we like the strings, right? It's a bit of drama going on here. But we feel like, hey, we want some effects on this. Um, and then look down here. Like you start out. Remember when you like first opened any DAW? You may have tried a lot, beat Cubase, beat Logic, maybe you started out with GarageBand and and you were you were familiar with dragging and dropping dropping um stuff plugins or effects into an effect chain. Right? So um let's start let's really be basic. You work with a reverb because reverb sounds cool. You really and still do. You enjoy this vastness that you can get and um, maybe because it's so cool you add just another effect because you've just started out working with Ableton or with any DAW and you're just so impressed that you just you know just tweak knobs and you just have fun guys this is so important have fun in the studio and um, well, why not adding a delay? Delay always sounds cool, like something with a groove. Let's have groove. Now that's cool, isn't it? See, and you you happily, happily add on all these funny things. You, you tweak and you go like, ooh, what does that do? I don't know. High is always good. High, let's have high quality everywhere. And you know, like, you know, you go on, go on, go on. And of course, you don't just work with one track no you have let's say now you let me just you know, mm, uh, make this a bit more visually pleasant we need at least uh, or to pull that one um, it must be at least three times bigger the Derek Zoolander center for kids who can't read good what is this A center for ants? The center has to be at least three times bigger than this. So we need at least like, uh, why not having 20? Come on. Here we go. 20 tracks going on. And on each and every track we have four effects going on. Of course, they don't make sense now, right? It's just for fun. <laughs> and, oh, there's a, so there's a, that's just a good advice, put a limit onto the, mas on, onto the, the master track, master bus. 
and uh, well what happens when you hit play now look at the CPU load <laughs> oh boy. Sounds great, but kills your computer. It kills your machine. And you've you know, you've just started out. What the heck? Like how 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 are you supposed to have fun like this? And and this is, uh, if you reach that stage, this is where you uh, e either give up or ask a friend or just Google and look for tutorials.